Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a different splendor is bestowed, bestowed upon us today. Look at this beauty. It was quite high last, or oh, this morning early, with high tide. We are wishful thinking today. We hope that the boat launches is going to happen at the estuary mouth. We are already traversing at a great speed towards the estuary mouth. Boat leader floating there in the wash zone. Drift with the other morning I couldn't get. Remember the name of the trees washing out on the beach. Yeah, Pietrus, they call driftwood. This is a stocky what I feel come for. at St. Lucia Estuary Beaches, Isimangalisa Wetland Park, South Africa. This is going to be quite hair raising today. It's going to be exciting. This is a difficult walk. Just watch. This is going to be going now for about 150 meters. Which buses doesn't sound like a long distance to you guys. But if you weigh 125 kilos, Ah, with blood pressure issues. This is terrible. We don't hear how we launched yesterday either. The sand is just too soft and the shore dump is still too big, water is still too high. These things has been fascinating me and Uncle Frankie. You can bother Uncle Frankie. He picked this thing up on the beach the other day and he wondered what it was. I always thought that this is coral but because by the time we get it on the beach normally after a storm it's already calcified. But when it had this part on it made me think because this is what's called a sand dollar or a pansy shelf and attached to that I didn't know what it was because a pansy shelf or a sand dollar is the calcified remains of a sea urchin and then it had this but I think I figured it out let's have a look at what it could be now the best I could come up with is that they are the egg clusters of whelk. And where they washed out, um, I think this might be cowrie. So yeah, that this one what is this one that Frank picked up then? What I think happened here is that this pansy shell was lying like this in a rock amongst the rocks. Maybe in a rock pool, maybe deep under the water, in a crevice somewhere, I don't know. And then the whelk, whatever type of whelk it is, it, it could even be a periwinkle, started making the egg cluster. Now the egg cluster seems to be formed in half circles well in full, full circles but turn around and come back turn around go back turn around go back until you've got about the four inches of an egg cluster and yeah that's what I figured out okay. 
this side wash is bad. So it looks like in the corner there that the is stream. Oh. Let's lift the camera up a little bit. It looks like the corner of the edge stream mouth will work. Of course over here the side wash is very bad. The shoulder. Right here in the edge stream mouth. Not much choices, Wiseman. That's that's one of the few. I tie today, the sea is, uh, is roaring. Rose Bowl is not looking good. A little bit of height over there. I should have bought the main camera today, it's not raining. That would have helped. I uh, even want to know what is tied up in that plastic bag. Bread bag very tightly rolled together. Maybe on Frank will investigate. I have to educate the viewers on photography so that they don't criticize me in the comments. <laughs> and then the opposition learns a lot of what took me 50 years to learn. You've got a high vantage point, that's why drones are so popular. And you look down on the subject, your focal point is basically distributed over the whole area so you've got a lot of depth of field <laughs> but uh, we are quite high up it's gonna help a lot with the view the views and the camera angles today but not so much with the, the depth of field and we are videoing right into the sunrise again Hello, arriving Also taking a wide berth around the corrosive marine water. Uncle Frank is brother. He's looking for Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank has um, gone AWOL. Beautiful sunrise this morning. And look at the flats now. Right east. Right, right, right east. Absolutely amazing. But when the boats get there, they dance the Rose Bowl. Basically, it's going to be hard work to get the views on the beach walk video up again. Hey, the beach walk videos did well for me financially. And then I had to change the niche of the channel. But I think I'm going to be able to manage both properly. Beach walk, do an history mouth update. It won't be every day. I'm not that fit yet, but I'm working towards it. And then the extreme baiting, obviously. Okay, got some feedback from Uncle Frank. Right in the front over there, the tide is right over the peninsula. So we can't see how much damage there is now on high tide. Uh, it's cloudy today at 11 o'clock. If it's still nice and cool, I'll come back and make a video. But right now, this is what you can see. So we're going to start working our way back to the log there that Uncle Frankie's brother has noticed. Have you guys met his brother yet? <laughs> That's Uncle Frankie's brother. <laughs> Look at this hill with the pretty flowers. Let's just try and manage to get this shot like this. All the way this way. Oh, and even on the other side. Look at that. <laughs> you can near more over. Be careful when you walk on these sand dunes, people. Hey, you're gonna run a little bit. Yes, Daddy is gonna drive Asterix's tractor. Gonna take it a little bit north. Yes, tomorrow night, midnight. Me, Pardit, and uh, maybe Uncle Frankie Two Socks. We will be here on the beach. And we'll see if the nest is still intact. If they're gonna hatch. I'm not gonna open the nest, guys. I don't do that. Yes. 